Somewhere beyond the outer edge of our solar system, 14 billion miles from Earth, an aging spacecraft drifts through the dark, silent abyss. Voyager 2, a relic from the 1970s, a machine so distant, its signals take over 18 hours to reach us. And yet, against all odds, it's still sending back information, data, signals, and now, images. But not just any images, hidden ones. Images NASA never expected. Images that may confirm our deepest fears about what really lies beyond our solar system. Today, we're going to show you what Voyager 2 saw, what scientists decoded from its latest transmission, and why this could be the most terrifying discovery made in deep space to date. But be warned, once you see what Voyager 2 revealed, you may never look at the night sky the same way again. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 was designed to explore the outer planets. It danced past Jupiter, glided by Saturn, revealed the haunting cold of Uranus, and exposed the eerie secrets of Neptune. With each flyby, it captured breathtaking images, never-before-seen shots that transformed how we view the solar system. It unveiled Saturn's twisted braided rings and the ghost-like rings around Uranus. It discovered new moons, bizarre magnetic fields, and even pierced through the mysterious plasmoid of Uranus, a feat nobody thought was possible. But what Voyager 2 saw was more than just planets and moons. It saw silence, emptiness, blackness, and that blackness wasn't as empty as we once believed. By 2018, Voyager 2 had crossed the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind that shields our solar system from cosmic radiation. It entered true interstellar space, where only Voyager 1 had ventured before. Suddenly, it was capturing data from a realm untouched by any human object. And that's where it began. What scientists first thought was static, background noise, or a harmless plasma hum, turned out to be something else entirely. Instruments picked up a persistent signal, a low, unbroken frequency hidden in the data. And attached to that signal was an image, a sequence of photographs that Voyager 2 hadn't been instructed to take, at least not by us. Among thousands of expected frames, Images of dust clouds, plasma readings, and distant starlight, NASA's deep space team uncovered a subset of frames stored in compressed, encrypted format. Once decoded, these images revealed something stunning. One photo showed an unfamiliar structure, a geometric object outlined against the cosmic background. Too symmetrical to be natural, too isolated to be a passing asteroid or dust anomaly. Some compared it to a lattice, Others described it as looking like an artificial net suspended in interstellar space. Another image was darker, a field of stars seemingly warped, as if the very space around the camera had been bent. Scientists noted a distortion consistent with gravitational lensing, but Voyager 2 wasn't near any known massive object that could cause such an effect. The implication? Something else, something unknown, was exerting force, a presence, watching, For years, the debate has raged. Is there intelligent life out there? Or are we truly alone? Voyager 2's hidden images have reignited that conversation with terrifying urgency. Because this time, it's not speculation. It's visual data, tangible, verifiable. Some astrophysicists now believe Voyager may have captured a trace of something non-natural, either a probe, a station, or even a long dormant beacon. Others warn we're misinterpreting that pareidolia, the human tendency to see patterns, could be leading us astray. But then why did multiple analysts independently reach the same conclusion? Why are these images still classified in their rawest form? Why won't NASA release the full uncompressed data set? As data scientists dove deeper into the image metadata and surrounding sensor logs, something even more unsettling emerged. The presence of repeating numerical sequences embedded within the image files. Binary strings, recurrent prime numbers, golden ratios. Sequences that, on Earth, are often used in programming, encryption, and communication protocols. 
Experts believe these embedded patterns were not a coincidence, nor a result of cosmic interference. These were intentional, structured. Some even suspect they were placed there as a kind of signal, either meant to be read by us, or perhaps by Voyager itself. A growing theory within classified circles suggests that Voyager 2 may have been scanned or read by an external force. That what we're seeing in the images is only half the story. The real content was meant to be discovered in the code, like a puzzle seeded into the spacecraft's camera for someone someday to unravel. Another shocking revelation came from Voyager 2's behavior in the moments leading up to the image capture. Logs show a momentary fluctuation in the spacecraft's orientation, something that shouldn't be possible without commands from Earth. It was brief, subtle, but Voyager 2 had, for just a few seconds, tilted its position ever so slightly, as if something had manually redirected its gaze. The systems didn't report any malfunctions, no sign of collision, no power surge. It was clean, controlled, and what's more, the slight adjustment perfectly aligned its camera with the object that now appears in the photo. Engineers at JPL were left stunned. Either Voyager 2 initiated a spontaneous course correction after 46 years of silence, or something else did it for us. Whistleblowers within the space science community have hinted at a second image, one that Voyager 2 may have captured in sequence, just moments after the now famous frame, but which never made it to Earth. The file was referenced in the transmission header. A packet number was assigned. But the data itself? Gone. Some believe it was corrupted or lost in interstellar transmission. Others think differently. That perhaps the image was intercepted, caught midstream by an unknown presence. What's terrifying about this theory is that it would require a form of technology far beyond anything we possess. Something that can intercept and manipulate data across billions of kilometers in the vacuum of space in real time. What did that second image contain? A clearer view of the object? A closer encounter? Or maybe, just maybe, something looking directly into the lens? This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Files declassified only recently show that Voyager 1, decades earlier, also recorded anomalies that were dismissed as sensor errors. Minor, but eerily similar. Sudden data shifts, unknown frequencies, inexplicable magnetic fluctuations. Could it be that both Voyager missions were on a collision course with something we've never understood? That the real mission wasn't just planetary science, but a long-shot attempt to reach something ancient, something waiting, a cosmic checkpoint, a relic of the past, or a system designed to observe anyone who ventures too far? Whatever the answer, one thing is clear now. The farther we go, the stranger things become. Voyager 2 was never supposed to find anything like this. It was built for observation, not confrontation. But after 46 years in space, drifting far beyond the warmth of the sun, it may have crossed an invisible line. And what it saw on the other side wasn't chaos or emptiness. It was order, precision, design. The hidden images are more than just strange photographs. They're a message, and not necessarily meant for us. If Voyager captured something it wasn't supposed to, then the silence that followed might not be peace. It might be containment. Maybe we were shown just enough to know that we're not alone, but not enough to understand who, or what, is really out there. And maybe, that's the point. If this story chilled you to your core, or made you question everything we think we know about deep space, don't just scroll past. Subscribe and join us on this journey to uncover what lies beyond the stars. Comment below. Do you think Voyager 2 saw a message, a machine, or a warning? Share this video with someone who still believes the universe is empty, because this discovery suggests otherwise.